Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a displacement map using Photoshop shapes. Once I've done that, I'm actually going to then show you how to use it to create glass distortions. And right, just going to go to Photoshop. I'm using CC, but uh, don't have to. Now, this custom shape is from Graphic Extras, part of uh, 13,000 custom shapes on that site. I'm going to add layer style drop shadow just quick one click now to create displacement map just save that as a PST file so just go to file save as and I've already created them so uh, I'm obviously not going to create it again that's that one is the large one the version 2 version 1 is a smaller version basically one thing that's a problem with a lot of these filters is there's no real ease for scaling. I mean there is a scaling option but it only scales to a certain point so uh, it's easy just to create a smaller file or a larger file if you want to create a much larger displacement map. Now one thing with vectors of course they, they can be any size so okay cancel just get rid of that. Now I'm just going to quickly apply a gradient just a colourful gradient, standard one, Photoshop, filter, filter gallery, and there you are. You've already got the displacement map in there. I'm just I can quickly load it via load the texture. Just to show you. Loading that one. And the reason why I'm saying about the scale is that if I do this scale, it only goes down to a certain point. Why it doesn't go around down to 2% or whatever, who knows? But uh, it only goes to some point, so obviously to get around that, you can use a smaller file. Quick and easy. Right, put that back to 100%. And now, just going to quickly apply it. And there you are, you've got a quick glass distortion. That doesn't really particularly look like glass at all. So next thing, I'm actually going to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. I'm going to that slightly okay now it's starting to look more like glass to a degree it's but one thing with a lot of these things you can actually apply them again so just apply that again and a couple of applies and it actually starts to look realistically like glass it's a real glass distortion so you can actually see the structure within the glass okay and now I'm just going to show you, you can actually of course just rotate the image and you can apply of course the uh, distortion again and there you've actually got a far more complicated glass effect now. You can rotate it again, apply it again, apply it multiple times, rotate and you could of course repeat this over and over complicated structure to your glass. So filter gallery. Yeah. Anyway, there's a quick way of using let's say Photoshop shapes. Of course you could create any shape you want or you could use obviously any shapes you can find on the web uh, to create quite unusual and interesting glass distortions in Photoshop. It's of course you could extend this further. You could actually uh, modify apply other effects as well of course as well as apply color to the image as well if you want anyway hope you found this tutorial of interest and you'll subscribe to the graphic extras channel that'd be really great always new videos every couple of uh, days and uh, thank you much